I'm back today with a book called The Flame and the Arrow by Amy Kennedy. This book was sent to me by the author. Thank you so very much, Amy. Um, it is about this red-haired girl named Anita. She's going through some rough times in her life, so she decides to go and visit her uncle in Paris. There she stumbles upon this magical world, and but the, pro the problem is the portal she came in through is now closed, so, so she's stuck in this new world. Uh, fortunately, she is hosted by a family of elves, um, and one of them is Talvi, so they develop a romance. And well, we all know that romances are never easy, but on top of that, she also discovers some new things about herself that connect her to this new world. Um, so while trying to get out of this world, she might actually have discovered that she might want to stay. Um, this was a, a really enjoyable read. I really liked the characters. I thought the storyline was really coherent. Um, the characters were realistic. Uh, I mean, besides the fact that they are magical creatures. Their personalities were really realistic and relatable. Um, one thing I really enjoyed, um, the, the magical world has several portals that connect it to our real world. So the magical creatures actually get to travel a lot. And Talvi and his brother went to Brazil and there they learned some Portuguese. So there are some Portuguese lines in the book, which for me was a really positive point. Uh, and I really enjoyed that. It made it, it made this book stand out so much. I think it's probably the only book I've read besides the Portuguese ones that has Portuguese on it. So um, I know this might not be a positive point for anyone else, but for me it, it was. Um, something else, and you might say I'm really picky. I accept that. Uh, but you know how sometimes paragraphs have like a divisor? They're usually like, either they don't call your attention or they're just really ugly. So this book has some and they're really pretty. Just check them out. Yeah, I know this is something really small, like a detail really, but it was a plus for me, so yeah. There were really no negative points for me in this book. It was overall just a really enjoyable read. So if you're looking for some time to distress, um, to go to a new world for a little bit, then this is definitely the book I'd recommend. Hope you enjoy this. Bye!